Hey guys, you know it's Joe Jaguar. Welcome to this week's episode again. And today let's talk about, I have two five inch Maxutovs. Now, what are Maxutovs? Okay, they're very similar to like an SCT, kind of, where they're a compound uh, telescope, meaning they're very short and small for its, for its size and its focal ratio. As you can see from these ones, I have a Mead um, Maxutov, and then I have a Skywatcher Maxutov. Now, a Smith Cassegrain has more like a flat lens on the front, and as you can see by these two, it's concave, it's curved inside. Okay, anyway, and normally uh, SCTs are, you know, in the range, I mean, most of them are F10s. However, there, there are a few, um, like me, the ACFs, which is an F8, uh, but most SCTs are F10s. Now, Maxutovs are a little bit different, where again, the front lens is curved, it's not flat. Um, also, as you can see, it normally has like a little, a little silver spot in instead of a second, um, secondary mirror uh, type of thing. Um, and normally, third thing is the central obstruction, usually on Max, uh, depending which model, of course, you get with size, is usually uh, about 18 to 20 percent, sometimes up to 22 percent the diameter, uh, the central obstruction to the diameter of the actual telescope. Um, usually, uh, SCTs are in the range of 30% to 33%. Now, why is that important? Because the bigger the central obstruction, the less contrast you will see on items. Um, so if you want to see um, like more finer detail uh, on Jupiter's bands, um, Saturn's rings, and it, Saturn has a couple lighter bands as well, and things like that. You want more contrast, so that you can see the different colors of the different zones. That's what contrast means. So like the whites and the reds and the blues, you can see them more clearly instead of them being more fuzzier. Okay, anyway, another thing about the Maxutovs that are slightly different is most Maxutovs are in the range of F12. So this Skywatcher is an F12 and this uh, Mead is an F15. Now, mo like I said, most SCTs are F10 uh, and to F8, uh, a, few of the, a few of the models. So Maxutovs are more higher power per inch in the eyepiece, but they're also narrow, more narrow field of view. So they're more high power, but they're gonna be smaller field of view. So basically, they are great for looking at the planets because you want to push the power to 200, 250, you know, depending on what size uh, scope you have, of course. Uh, but so you can, you want to get more detail. You want to bring that planet up and close, maybe even double stars where, you know, a, a, most of these stars they see in the sky are not just single stars or single suns. Some of them are multiple suns. So you want to, with more power, you can break up the suns and see a double, you know, uh, binary suns or, or, or doublet suns type of thing like that. So for um, uh, double star splitting or something like that, uh, more, more power uh, is gonna actually help there. So let's just take a look at these. So what would be the difference in um, these two brand of, of telescopes? Now just a five inch uh, size, uh, Maxutovs, start in like the three and a half size and then you can go up to like uh, really the seven is probably bigger than most people get because it's very heavy in the seven very heavy sorry in the seven inch to ten inch range and there's only uh, these companies do not make anything more than the seven inch in, anymore actually Mead right now the biggest they make is six inch uh, Skywatcher does make a seven inch. And then there's only like one or two companies um, and very expensive that make the seven inch to the 10 inch range. They're very expensive. 
Okay, so let's just take this guy for instance. Meat is the five inch, so it's not too small and it's not too big. Five inch is very portable. I would say that's probably about eight, nine pounds, maybe 10 max. I don't have a scale on me, but it's very portable. Most people uh, could do it. Now this, I would say, would be the biggest you want to do if you want to do terrestrial viewing. Uh, land viewing, bird watching type of thing. You could use, they used to um, sell these for that as well, for terrestrial viewing. But five is definitely the most, uh, the largest you want to get. The only downfall if you're going to use it for terrestrial viewing is the narrow field of view. When you look at land viewing, terrestrial viewing, mountain range viewing, you want a wide field of view. So if you're looking at a bird, it's not gonna just, if it moves an inch or two, it's not gonna be out of the field of view. So you could do it with Maxutovs, they're very portable, high powered, but you could do it, but uh, after the five inch, um, it becomes too heavy, and also the field of view is a little small. But anyway, this one is the Meat Maxutov, so this is a, so which is a five inch. Now this guy is a 1900 millimeter focal length. Let me just show that up to you. Uh, and it has a mirror back here. So again, like a compound, the light comes in, hits this mirror, hits this silver uh, analyzed in, in the middle, and then goes back to your eyepiece. So this is an F15. So F15 basically means Let's say this was not a compound scope. This guy would probably be about three times as long to achieve that focal length and focal ratio. But because it compounds and comes back on itself, um, yes, you lose a little bit of contrast, but it's very portable, very lightweight for its size. Um, what's nice about this guy, the mead one, you have your focuser right here. Now this thing here, this is what's nice about the Mead one. So let's say for instance, you can see, you can put a camera here, and then you can put your eyepiece up here, so you can actually look at whatever you're looking at, have your camera ready, just flip this over, take a shot, do, boom. Now in other ones that don't have this part, um, you would have to you know, look only one way. So when terrestrial viewing, um, looking straight, is actually more more convenient. And when you're looking at the sky, of course it's gonna be up more in that direction. It's more comfortable this way instead of bending all the way down. So this is a nice feature. The flip switch here that allows you to have both eyepieces either here or either there, depending if it's daytime, nighttime, or if you wanna just have your camera here ready, eyepiece here. It's, it's actually a, a great system, so I like it. Um, as you saw, uh, I just I did a video not too long ago on this guy on the moon type of thing. It was very, very nice contrast, very high powered. It was crystal clear. So, mo however, most people don't don't own Maxutops. They're very specialized. Again, it's because of the narrow field of view. But anyway, they're they're very good scopes. Now, this one, let's just take a look at this one. This is Sky Watchers version uh sky this is also a this is a five inch 127 millimeter but this one is f12 not f15 so what that means is this field of view is just a little bit wider than this guy f12 f15 so virtually is the same um Basically, whatever you see in this one, you're gonna see in this one. It's just, if you use the same eyepiece in here, let's just say a 20 millimeter eyepiece, for instance, might be 50 power here. It might end, end up being 40 power here because this has smaller uh, focal ratio, fo focal length. This is 1900 millimeter focal length, F15, and this one's 1500 F12. So they're very similar. Um, so if you want something more high power, um, something because as you know too when you're looking at eyepieces the bigger the number like a 32 millimeter eyepiece a 26 millimeter eyepiece the lens is fairly large it's easy to look through once you get start to go higher power uh, like the 10 millimeter 9 millimeter 6 millimeter the eye lens are is tiny just a couple millimeters wide 
and it's very hard to look through. So with these guys, you do not need to use such low power eyepieces because you're already getting a lot of power because it has a large focal length uh, telescope. Um, but anyway, it's very similar. This one's an F15, F12, they're very similar. They're both, you know, narrow field of view, high power views, uh, nice contrast, crystal clear. So um, the Skywatcher one does have its focuser here. Um, and here is where you put that diagonal. So as you can see, it, it only has one spot to put the diagonal, which is here. And you look through it or put the camera. It does not have a dual uh, spot like the, like the Mead version does. So in one way, I kind of like that. I kind of like the F15, uh, more power, more high contrast, uh, maybe smaller central obstruction, but they're very, very similar. It's only going to be one, two percent difference really in the eyepiece. You probably won't even, the eye can't even tell that difference. So it just depends really if you want something with a small field of view of this guy, this one a little bit wider field of view, um, and that's really it. If you like these features where like that, maybe the Mead is better for you then. And of course the Skywatcher does not have those features there, but you don't always need it for the planets and double star splitting. Uh, so these are two Maxutovs, uh, two different companies, slightly different, even though the scope is basically the same size, almost the same focal ratio, F12, F15. Um, so really you can't go wrong if you're looking for something that's has a lot of power per eyepiece Nice contrast crystal clear images of the Sun moon and planets. Uh, remember the Sun you need a Sun filter You can't go wrong with either one um, If you do like these features here great um, They are kind of portable uh, Land viewing they're a little hard because the, the focal ratio is so high uh, maybe a refractor, uh, maybe better, uh, but if you have to have one scope, maybe this could work for you. So again, that's what these are, two Maxutovs, that's what they look like, that's what the correctors are, uh, plate looks like, that's why they're slightly different than the Schmidt Cassegrain uh, brands, um, and that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I am planning very soon, within the next month or so, testing these two side by side on the Moon, Jupiter, and Saturn. Maybe even if Mars is starting to come up very soon now. Um, and I wanna see which one do I like better? The F15, F12. Or is it virtually the same besides a 10% power difference? Uh, because again, if it, all I have to do is just put a slightly higher power eyepiece in this one and it gets the same power. That's virtually it. So it's, do I like the Mead version with the dual eyepiece barrel type of thing, or is this one virtually the same thing? So I wanna test them side by side. I will make a video, show you guys which one I think I like personally, and that's it. Joe Jaguar, cheers. Now don't forget to, if you like my astro videos, comment, like, subscribe. If you know any astro people out there looking for a little help on anything or just wants to see a an, uh, an astro video, send them, uh, share that link with, with them on my channel. This is Joe Jaguar, out.